What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Will Weekly. Today we're doing a special Oscars recap. OMG. Oh my god, there's so many things to talk about. <laughs> for starters, two movies won for best picture, you know? No, that was a mistake. Well, anyway. We'll talk about we'll that talk about on it. this episode of Will, Will Weekly. Weekly. I'm sorry. No. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won best picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Moonlight, Best Picture. I think you guys should keep it anyway. Oh, it's fine. I'm sorry. All right, so as you can see, the Oscars, there was a lot of surprises. And that right there, there was a lot of confusion. When that happened, I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I, I couldn't believe it. I was like paralyzed. I was like, what that just happened? Like what a mistake. Like mm -hmm. this is the Oscars. It's huge. It's huge. Huge mistake. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I didn't want to interrupt because we were so into it. Right. But I did see these people running back and forth in the back of the whole cast of La La Land. I did, I did see, see it. And we're like, uh oh, uh oh, why is people running in the back? Yeah, what's and going like on? literally two seconds after they come up and they're like, Mulan, you won best picture. Right. For me, I knew something was wrong because they they had the medium medium shot of the producer. Uh, of uh, La La Land and then when they went to the third producer the French guy he started speaking they zoomed out and they never do that oh, like really? yeah when, when somebody's speaking they always oh have that close-up shot and I was like that's when I turned I was like that's really weird because at that point when when La La Land won I was like this is over that's it it's, yeah it's, it's I mean rap. we all expected that we I all expected, expected I was like, that's it. You know, it, it was predictable. Lana yeah. was gonna win. You know, we knew that. It was predictable, especially. I was like, all right, so La La Land is gonna start cleaning house. They right. started. They started cleaning house with I think best music, best actress, best adaptation of something. I think screenplay, and uh, that's when I was like, from here on out, it's just gonna be straight up La La Land. So when they won best picture, I was like, Psh, I'm I still speechless. Speechless. <laughs> You're still speechless. You're speechless. Yes. You see, I can't You're even speechless. talk. You can't get it out. <laughs> speechless. I mean, one thing I'm is speechless. Miss Universe, but like, come on. This is the Oscars. Like, this is starting to happen a lot. Like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, like, really, people you really know? need to, like, really take a deep breath. Read it well and say yep. the right thing because this this is this cannot happen From again. From the beginning, when Warren Beatty had that envelope and he's looking at it like three times. I was like, "What's there's something weird here?" Yeah. Yeah. He he looked at it. He took his time. He did take his he time. Looked, and he looked very confused. It, uh, something happened there. Like something. Yeah. I don't know had if he happen. had an elder moment. I don't know if he a senior moment. <laughs> a senior I, moment. I, Maybe I, a senior I, moment. I'm more sorry. Like you know, I don't want to offend any seniors, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe he did have some kind of senior moment there. <laughs> And then, oh and then the way God. Jimmy Kimmel was like, you messed it all up. He's like, what did you what do? What did you do? He's like, what did you do, Warren? <laughs> Hilarious. And then I Jimmy mean, Kimmel was like, it's my fault. I it's knew, my fault. He's like, I knew it was gonna, I was going to mess it up. <laughs> I'm never going to do this show, to, show again. He said, I mean, he did say it in the beginning. He's like, I'm probably never going to do this again. You right, know, right, right. Oh, I'm going to mess up somehow. But I think he did a great job. Though. But Jimmy Kimmel, he did great. I think he did a good job from the beginning of the Oscars. I think they did a good job starting with Justin Timberlake. Yeah, the, the music, opening. The opening. The opening That's sequence. Him coming in, singing. That was a great song to start with. And getting with. everybody in, you know, the audience yeah. involved and dancing. And dancing with his wife. I think that was very sweet. Yeah, and I was like, I actually kind of feel bad for Jimmy Kimmel. He had to follow that up. Right. But then he did a good job with the comedy. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like yeah. lighthearted. It was fun. <laughs> he took a little political jabs at Trump. But nothing too serious. It wasn't nah. like... 
It wasn't like over the top political. I mean, yeah, it's, you expect this to happen, get political a little bit here and there in all these events, but. Right. Yeah, it's, it's bound to happen. I know. I knew that was gonna come. Yeah. Especially that one time where he's like uh, tweeting at Trump. <laughs> why? Like, why, are why, are Trump? why are you not tweeting? Why are you not tweeting? He's always <laughs> tweeting. Why are you not tweeting right now? Yeah. <laughs> and he referred to Meryl Streep as like overrated, kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they say you're overrated. You overrated. <laughs> but she she can take it. She can she take takes it. She takes the jokes. She, she doesn't really care. Yeah. Yeah. And so. then after that, so I think the first major award was for Mashal Ali, Best Supporting Actor. Yeah. Moonlight. Awesome. And mm -hmm. that was great. I, I, you know, I really like his acting. Yeah. Especially in Moonlight. There's something very natural about him. Mm-hmm. And uh, the first time I saw him acting was in, in Luke Cage. Right. That's and how I really know him. Yeah, that's how I really know him, know him. From Luke Cage. But, we watched the show mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, he did a great job on that, too. He was a good villain. I'm, I'm happy for him yeah, to get that award. Yeah, he's doing really good. Yeah, I think, he's, really I think he's like, he's going to be one of those actors that's going to be around for a while. Mm -hmm. Like, doing good stuff. I hope you so. know, he's like, humble about it too. He's humble Seems about like it. it. He's the first uh, Muslim actor to win an Oscar. Oh. Yeah, Mashal Ali, that's first that's Muslim actor to win an Oscar. Mm -hmm. So that was incredible. Yeah. So anyway, so now we move on. So to, what do we have next? We have, um, you know, best Sport actress and and also which was um, Viola. Oh, next. So also next, so the main, the next major award was ne best supporting actress Viola Davis. That she speech. Was Amazing. That speech. First of all, love her dress as a girl. Yeah, I mean, she looked her, really nice. She was dressed. She looked really nice. Dressed really well. Love it. That she's one of my top best dresses. That dress. She, she killed it with that dress. Best yeah, dress. Love it. I think she had the no. I think she had the best speech, and I think she had the best dress. You really think so? I think she had the best yeah, dress. Yeah, and the way really it fit beautiful. her too. Yeah, it she looks a lot really of well. way. She looks amazing. I yeah. mean, she looks awesome. It looked very elegant on her. Yeah, very elegant. And yep. I mean, in that speech was so, so moving. impactful. Impactful. Like, very like, good. like Jimmy said. I think she's also gonna win an Emmy. <laughs> Just for that speech. Yeah. She deserved yes, it. And let me tell it. you, we watch Fences, and she was so good in that movie. Mm -hmm. That she definitely deserved that. Yeah, I was, I was very happy. happy for her. I was mm -hmm. very happy. I was for hoping her. that she would win. And yeah, I was did. hoping. I was hoping. You yeah. know, I was hoping that she would get nominated for Best Actress. Mm -hmm. She got nominated for Best Supporting Actress. I, I really think she could have been Best Actress. Yeah. Because think about it. Like uh, Emma Stone won for Best Actress, and she was alongside with Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. And I yeah. feel like like she was uh, Viola Davis was alongside. Denzel Washington. A True. lot of times they were on screen for most of the movie. Sure. Viola Davis and Denzel. She could have yeah. easily been Best Actress. But you know, she got Best Supporting Actress. That's great. She got a Academy Award. I'm, I'm happy for her. Mm -hmm. You know, that's yeah, that's right. amazing. So the next uh, <laughs> major award? Uh, well, the um, animated feature, you know, we kind of wanted to Moana to win because that's our favorite animated movie. I want a Moana to win. I love that movie. But um, as you guys probably know if you watch the show. I know. But Zootopia won, which Zootopia was a won. really good movie that also. That was a good movie. You know. And and you know I understand why it won because I think Zootopia had a very good message. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if if it's it's a funny movie, it's really hilarious. But under all the comedy, uh, even though it's an animated movie, the message is that you we have to be open to diversity. Right. And open to living with each other, even though we're all so different. Exactly. And we have so many different backgrounds. Exactly. And to not just automatically judge because you're a certain way. Remember, like in Zootopia, the predators were being judged for being a certain way. For being, being bad, yeah, For exactly. being bad, you know, they mm -hmm. had that stereotype. Yep. And uh, and I think Zootopia, the the message of that movie was like breaking stereotypes. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy they won uh, yeah. for, for that. I had a very good message. Yeah, very, very good, good message. Movie. Very so. good movie. So what was up next? Well, I, I you know, let's talk about a little of the performance. I think, um, you know, the girl from Moana, she did an amazing performance. Oh, she sang yeah, she really, sang really, really, beautifully. really well. Very well. I mean, she did get knocked out by the you, dancers in the back. I felt bad for her. I Let me know. Tell you. I forgot like... her name. I forgot her name. The girl that, <laughs> that, that sang from Moana. She's singing. She's singing this beautiful song. They go to the close up. <laughs> they go to the close up of her, oh my and next God. thing oh my you know, God. she gets smacked in the back of the head. 
I by like, like some some dancers. She yeah, got, I mean they, they had all these background dancers, you know, trying to. It was I like whack. I think the thing what they were trying to do is make the waves, you know, because right. she sings to the to the ocean. Right. And uh, she got smacked by freaking one of those things, and I'm like, yeah. ah, why you do that, guys? Don't. Don't but you know that. what? She just went with it. She was like, I'm at the Oscars. She didn't even react. I'm not even going to let this get to she me. She's looking beautiful. Yeah, exactly. You know, but it was funny because the rest of the song, she had this piece of hair sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but you did awesome and you, she did you a great look job. amazing. You look beautiful. Yeah, She's I think she has up. a bright future. Mm -hmm, She's young. Nice. Mm -hmm. You know, this, uh, this could be like a big launching yeah. pad for her. So, yeah, so she did a great job performing. And I think she has a bright future, especially bright. like now that she's in the Disney family. Uh -huh. Who knows? She could go on to do like all kinds of stuff. She could yeah. be in a Marvel movie. She could be in a Star Wars movie because yep. Disney's huge. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, she does look like she's grown up more. You know, she doesn't right. look like little girl anymore. Um, I just hope beautiful. she doesn't disappear. Mm -hmm. You know, like I just hope it's not just Moana and we yeah. never see her again. Yeah, 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 exactly. So in terms of awards, now moving on, uh, the, the next major award was Best Actor. And that was a surprise too. Yeah. I think a lot of people thought Denzel was going to get that. Because he, I mean, Denzel, he did such a great job. He could have, mm -hmm. I think anybody on that list, it wouldn't have surprised me. And uh, Casey Affleck, if you watch Manchester by the Sea, you got to give it to him. I yeah. mean, he did a great job with that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wanted Denzel or um, Andrew Garfield to Andrew win. Garfield, he deserved that. Yeah. They, I think they all deserved it. They, I mean, I yeah, they all deserved it. Even Ryan Gasly deserved it. He did amazing. He, he did he amazing. He did a really good job. I think, they, I, so. no, honestly, I think they all deserved it. Yeah. I watched all of those movies, and they were all amazing performances. The thing with Casey Affleck is that his performance was so subtle and it would almost it, it almost didn't feel like you were watching Casey Affleck. You felt like you were watching this guy who just had this really tough life. Right, and very terrible thing that very, happened to him in the movie. Very terrible. And uh, it just there was something very real mm -hmm. about his performance. Mm -hmm. But he did a great job. Yep. So congratulations. Yeah, but I, I do feel bad. That Denzel didn't win, yeah. or that Andrew Garfield didn't win. I don't know. You win. noticed that like, they, they, you know, they focus him, and he was like crying Denzel yeah, for yeah. some reason. I don't know if it was just the motivation, or I hope it's not that like he was sad because he didn't win. Mm, but uh, I don't know. I mean, you gotta understand that he directed and he acted in this movie, and when you're so involved in a movie, it's such a long process. You know, sometimes an actor just comes in after a lot of work has already been done, you know, by the producers and directors. But Denzel, I, I'm, I'm sure he put so much work yeah. into this movie. I mean, you know that. You know, you have yeah. actor and produce and direct right. movies. So you, you've done all that in one. And I'm sure it's a lot. It's, uh, it's a lot. I'm yeah. sure that took like a good two years of Denzel's life. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, the, if you're there from the beginning of the process... That's a good solid two well, years at least, at least. I mean, he was he was recognized, you know, right. no matter what, and he will be keeping. I'm sure he's gonna keep doing amazing. Yeah, stuff. and he already has an Oscar, you know. Yeah, so, so don't give up. And he's already a legend. He's a, the guy's he a, legend. a legend. The guy's a, a legend. legend. Yeah. yeah. And talking about the the tour the tour bus. I know that was so that like that was not, pretty hilarious. Like, funny, but at the same time, like they never done something like that. Yeah, it was you different. You know, and I think that people were really surprised. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning, we're like, ah, they know, but then... they they had to be the luckiest people in a tour bus <laughs> ever in the whole history <laughs> of tour buses. And let me tell you, if 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 I would have been in that tour bus, I think I would have took a picture with Denzel. Yeah, absolutely. With Denzel, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know who. I would have shows. I mean, I think everybody would be like, selfie! <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, not me. I, I like selfies. how Denzel married those two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that guy was right. like kissing everybody's hand. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> he was dressed so funny. He was like, kissing he was kissing hand. all the ladies' hand. <laughs> and his fiance is like right there. <laughs> yeah, he was such a flirt. Player, player! <laughs> From the Himalaya. All right, so anyway. the next one on the list, uh, Best Actress, yes. right? Emma Stone. Emma Stone. You know, like, we talked in the in the Oscar special that we did. We didn't watch really any other movie yeah. from that category. Emma Stone did a good job. I really like her performance, you know? And yeah. I really She's felt active. for her in that movie, La La Land, because she just a struggling actress, 
going after her dreams and you know especially when everything's not going right for you it's it's so hard to keep that going and i really felt that from her character and, she, and from yeah. her performance yeah. And I was happy for her. Yeah, me too. I'm happy she won and well yeah. deserved. And congratulations well deserved. on my stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, like we said, there was a big mess up at the end. That You know, even though it was a mess up, it was a good way to end the Oscars. Because <laughs> I, I'll tell you, it ended the Oscars with a bang. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad at it. A I'm a huge fan. A like, huge. Holy moly. Huge, this is really happening. That's right. I mean. I was shot, you know, I was like speechless. I right. stood and I was like, is this really happening? Mm -hmm. Like, totally but, unbelievable. Um, but yeah. let me tell you, I'm very happy for Moonlight. Yes. Because we watched the movie and um, I, I thought it was, there was a lot of good things about this movie, but I didn't realize this was based on a true story. Yeah. To be show, honest And they showed that it was a real person, I, right? I, 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 I wasn't sure until this Oscars that, you know, they won an award where the actual person went on stage. And that's what I was like, wow, this is really based on this person's that's life. A story, yeah. On a true story. So the fact that they won for best picture and who knows, you know, what these people have gone through to make this movie, you know, cause I'm and sure. No, and, and that's a show that um, even though La La Land was like the major Hollywood movie of the year, mm -hmm. um, you know, Moonlight still won on top of every other movie. So. And, and it was a movie that I'm sure millions of people did not see. Right. You know? Yeah. And they don't even know what it's about. But um, we did see it and, and, and we know what it's about. And yes, they deserve it. No, they deserve it. Especially mm -hmm. it's based on a true story. Yeah. The casting was incredible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also very daring. So I'm happy. And it had a good message. Yeah. I think there's a lot of messages in Moonlight. So La La Land had some good messages too. It was a fun movie. But I feel like Moonlight was kind of like a deeper, deeper, deeper movie. Yeah, it's just yeah. it involves a lot of stuff that is happening in the world. So. Yeah, yeah that's you know, true. acceptance. Of acceptance, exactly. Acceptance of the person. Exactly. And what they are. That's right. So, so uh, we're gonna finish off with. Oh yes, best dressed. Best dressed. Of uh, you know of the night, and I think I have my three favorites. Yeah, three uh, favorites. Yep. And um, so my first one would be Viola Davis. Has I love that. I love that red dress on Viola. She killed best it with that red dress. Yep. Yes. I mean, best speech, best dressed. Give her an Emmy as well. <laughs> then my second one would be um, Emma Stone. Emma know, Stone. I really like really her dress. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very, she was very, very classic. Classic, simple, but glowing and you know, shiny, very and sparkle. So I liked it. Yeah. And the last one is Tajari. Taj Taraji. Taraji. I'm Taraji. Sorry. Very and simple, stuff. elegant, classy. Love that black and that yeah. style. You know, that heart style, open up and just delicate and floats. Perfect. Love now, it. You're right. Simple. I liked it. Now speaking of Taraji. I wish they would have shown for Hidden Figures more love. I know. I don't think they, they won did. any major awards. No. no which is a so shame. Sad. But was... they did show the, the lady, the real, you know, lady that. Catherine. The Catherine, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That was really nice yeah, that they yeah, brought her off right, stage she... for, mm -hmm. uh, they presented the best documentary, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but over, but I, I do wish like the Hidden Figures would have gotten something. I know. You know, but they really didn't well, win anything. You know, it happened, so. It was a great movie, though. Yeah, and they right. got nominated for a couple of Oscars, so um, you know. Anyway, I hope, I hope to see more movies like that mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. Well, so that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I think we covered I think everything. We cover. I think so. Um, you know, if you guys leave a comment, so maybe we miss something that yep. we didn't talk about. You guys want to, you know, just comment on it. Um, Let us know what you thought about the Oscars. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> Leave us a comment. I, Let us know yeah, what you think. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. I mean, one of the craziest Oscar finishes ever. I don't think this ha ever happened. No, I don't think this I ever think happened. This mistake has Poor never Warren happened. Poor Warren I feel bad for Warren Beatty. <laughs> Afterwards, he was like explaining himself. He was like, "I read the wrong thing. I don't know. Sorry, guys." I want to uh, know. I want to know what Steve Harvey, if he's watching. Oh my God! He's, he's probably celebrating the fact that he's not the only yeah. one. Who messed up on 
international TV. Exactly. Because basically, this is being watched all around the world. Exactly. <laughs> Steve Harvey's probably like, it's not my fault. <laughs> I you didn't do it this time. You like, like anything else. Everybody's human. We We're all mistakes. allowed to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Well, that's all for today's show. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you thought about the Oscars. I know it was crazy. What was your favorite part? What, what parts did you think were funny? Yeah. Or... What do you guys thought about, you know, our opinions and what we talk about the stresses and everything that happened in the Oscars. So give us a comment. Yeah. And please subscribe to the channel. Please we subscribe. Really appreciate it. It really helps out. Yep. But above all, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys on the next episode. Peace out. Bye. Bye-bye.